hello guys hello everybody hello my friend so guys because i always use coconut oil okay so definitely the one i use i buy them so today i just want to show you guys how i do my coconut oil how i process it in easy way if you have so first if i want to uh, break the knots i'm going to heat it from this part but everybody has their own way of uh heating the the knots this is how i do mine i just heat it around in this one like this to just crack it you know you can do it in any form anyhow you do it it's no problem so this is how i'm going to just beat them around so after doing this now i need something to pour the water inside so guys let me take something to pour the water so i will be needing this uh, knife to remove and here to put the water so i'm going to also want to sift it after and drink you can use it for anything you can use it also mix the oil to make it to rise okay so i'm going to put that one here so why i start working this out So now guys, I will do nothing else than to process and separate the liquid from the uh, pulp. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to start. So guys, I'm done now. So this is the milk that came out. So I'm tempted. I'm not going to drink. I'm going to drink some out of it. So after then, I'm going to still use some water. Because this is the one... I'm going to use some water to raise this out and bring the remaining the rest milk so meanwhile if you have this you can get your oil easily and fast so this is how you can they also as they do your coconut uh, milk the one you buy so i used to do it to drink at home so i just sort of doing uh, oil out of it to show you guys if you have this processor so if you don't have can you do the one of the blender it is all the same but this way it's more easier for you to to work uh, too much to bring the milk out so here now i'm going to use some water to just with this is the cloth i'm going to use to press it out so first i don't need too much water guys see just some milk has still coming out So now I'm going to just try to press it. So with this very one, do this one separately because I'm going to allow 
them to separate so guys the next thing to do now i'm going to cover the both before i cover it i'm just going to give it a stir so i'm also going to do that very one so meanwhile we cover this very one first So guys, today is the next day. Okay, as you can see, I, I have this one. The mic is the up. It's at the up here where the water is at the down there because it's inside uh, stainless steel like this. I didn't put the glass stuff as transparent like this very one. So you can really, really uh, see the uh, water and the mix separate. I'm going to show you. This is the, the mic at the top. So as you can see at the down here, that's the water. So the mic is at the up here because why? I, I wish I did it with blender, um, add water. So I would have had a lot of water uh, that was separated, that would have separated between the mic. Meanwhile, because I pressed it out from the coconut uh, direct. So that is why uh, it has a very, very, very little water so this this is the water down there if i want to make it cold pressed i will separate i will remove the water turn it and leave it because i've if you don't remove the water the oil cannot separate from the uh it cannot separate from the um milk so what i'm going to do i'm going to use something like this so that the water will also go out to just patiently pick only the milk I'm going to change as you can see it has start to change so it has start to change to turn into oil the up here has start to turn oil as you can see my hand is greasing already if you want to do it cold press you are going to leave it remove the water leave it all that day but i'm not going to do it cold press as i said uh, i have to uh, preserve it because i want to preserve it let me just heat it in the fire to burn the bacteria then i do the normal process so i'm going to take from the up like this now put in here i should be very very careful because i really want the water to separate i'm going to be very very careful Anyway, the water has mixed together. It's just a few water, so let's get everything inside there. So this is the, as it's cooking, I'm going to, this is the make now, pour it in here. Guys, you are going to give it a steam. So I want to show you, you are going to give it a steam just steam to remove the uh, so that it will last you as well so we are going to remove all the bacteria so how to do that we are going to add some bicarbonate sodium to like a preservation just add like this you don't need much as a preservation it's also good for our hair and all to preserve it not to form any mold preserve it so i'm going to prepare the meat by steaming it this is the many water with some coconut uh, oil stuff so that is it so guys this is almost is getting dry so because i left it for some minutes i was doing something and so it, it started to burn and because this fry pan uh is somehow it's not those type of fried pan i can use to do any how things okay so if we want to do fried egg so i'm still going to allow it to do so as you can see the oil has starts to come out 
so you are still going to turn 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 it's like you are frying egg now <laughs> so these are the oil there you see the oil so that's the oil so guys as you can see the oil is now out more than so guys we are arrived to the final so as you can see these are the oil so i'm going to do nothing else than to start to drain it i would like to cool a little bit before we start to drain it so these are the oils that came out so guys i'm going to start to strain it now one thing i love doing is that i love straining it neat clean and nice with my kitchen uh paper it's just to remove uh any dead excess stuff so guys you know that is always inside so i'm going to start to put them in here little by little to strain down as you see so it's going to come out very clear coconut oil so you can also press it if you want so guys if you want you can still squeeze it out by pressing it in this form but you have to allow it to cool because it's still hot it can still come out if you do it in this form anyway but i'm going to allow it to cold first before i do that so meanwhile as for our milk we have i'm going to remove this foam we don't need this very one so this is your coconut water to moisturize your hair so this is it i'm going to put it first i'm going to strain it so guys now it has cooled down i've allowed it to cool down so i'm going to put it in here with my uh kitchen cloth to remove any uh, residual just as i did with the coconut oil so i love using this too you can use even the cutting wool but i don't have that so i'm using this very one see those things are what you are going to make sure it doesn't get inside not to get into your hair I'm, I'm heating it down see it's exactly the bottle so this is where it reach I'm going to lucky this is what I'll be using to moisturize my hair throughout this week as the replacement of my uh, water okay even in this summer you can use to hydrate your skin under the Sun so this is the oil I brought it out from the fridge as well as Put it in the fridge to allow it to form uh so to solidify so they can see so i have it up here so this is it this is how you can uh do your own coconut oil at home so i hope you love this video i know there are many coconut oil uh, video out there so i also sort of doing my today for the first time so that in case uh as you guys are following me up you want to follow my own method there are so many easier method i will do more video about coconut oil so guys i hope you love this video uh you saw that of the milk so this is the uh, water uh hyd hydrating hairspray the coconut oil thank you guys for watching bye